Hello Virgo and welcome to your 2022 predictions video. So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at your overall general energy in 2022. Then we're going to be looking at your money and we're going to be looking at your love. Okay, in all its ways, shapes, and forms. And then we're going to be casting some charms for you as well to get a little bit more specific energy um, on what will be the kind of the focus of 2022 for you. And what are some unique messages? Uh, the charms also give you an opportunity to kind of customize it for yourself. So if there are any, are any charms um, that bring are calling your attention, then you know that's kind of a customized message for you as well. Um, so this is a general reading. So I always like to say, use your own powers of discernment and intuition to determine which messages, if any, are meant for you. Um, of course, always. Um, and before I get into the readings here today, I would like to invite you to join the Kindred family by subscribing to my YouTube channel here. Click like on the video, drop a comment down below if something connects with you. And yeah, I think that's all I had to say, for, that's all I had to say about that. Okay, perfect. 2022. So I did a whole video on the numerological energy of 2022. And so a lot of the messages that I'm going to be talking about in this reading are going to be grounded in a foundation from that video. So if there's something that you hear that doesn't quite make sense, checking out that video would be really helpful, but I'll try to make it as cohesive as possible in this video. Okay, so let's start with your guiding energy for 2022. So 2022 for Virgo, 2022 Virgo's general energy general energy general messages one more shuffle okay one more shuffle let's see general energy for virgo split the deck okay holding together i don't think i've ever flipped out this card it's kind of lovely these different schools of fish All right, holding together. So it's actually really interesting that holding together, which talks about union and cooperation, very divine feminine sort of energy that's popping up here with that watery um, connectivity as well, participation and teamwork. It's actually really interesting that this came out because that is the focus for 2022. So the, the foundational overall numerological energy for 2022 is about connection, collaboration, connectivity, compassion, cooperation. Um, so I feel like your message is in line, in alignment with that overall energy. Uh, I also want to call attention to the fact that this card is a number eight card, and the number eight in numerology talks about it's connected to karma, it's connected to achievement as well, and it's connected to the karmic opposite of achievement which is giving okay so virgo i don't think you have any problems with uh giving you're a very naturally giving energy and um so i feel like that message is going to flow pretty good and then we have turtle spirit which is also reducing down to a number eight as well so again highlighting that number eight energy Slow and steady wins the race. Okay. I feel like I just got a message here about um, being patient in your partnerships. Being patient with pe the people around you. I'm specifically getting, I'm getting all different types of relationships because this is a general reading. Um, romantic partnerships, t you know, um, co-worker type of relationships business partnerships just like being patient in general with individuals with people um teamwork participation cooperation union okay. very interesting man the knight of cups just can't stay out of these readings okay so we have the Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. <laughs> I 
I feel like the Knight of Cups is very befitting for 2022. I'm actually not surprised to see the Knight of Cups show up so much because again, the 2022 is about that number six. The, the, the year 2022, I should say the number 2022 reduces down to the number six in numerology. Not only does it reduce down to the number six, but it's supported by three twos. So that 222 two, two is an angelic number. The number two in and of itself is a number about cooperation and support and working together. The number six is about love and compassion and, um, you know, support. And so I'm not really surprised to see the Knight of Cups here, honestly, um, and keep showing up. Just the Knight of Cups is working for its position right now. And so... You know, I feel like these are just encouragements to, you know, be more open and authentic and connect more with your love of creativity, the, the you know, the arts, your heart space, um, just kind of messages around that. I feel like that's what the Knight of Cups is bringing, putting down your, you know, letting, taking off your armor and being more open and vulnerable in general and i feel like that's going to actually strengthen your unions and the connections that you have um when you're able to open up be more um showing that softer side of it of yourself um you know as a virgo you are earthy you have that earth energy and so earth energy earth is dry earth is support earth supports okay without water earth is dry so i feel like there's a message you get around um there can be some stoic energy connected to earth energy as well so if you're finding yourself in that that space you're maybe a little bit more serious a little bit more stoic it's a little bit more challenging for you to be vulnerable and open yourself up then you're being encouraged to do a little bit more of that and embrace the creative side to yourself. I know you can be a bit analytical with that Mercury placement. Um, you could be in your head a lot and calculating and analyzing and data crunching and different things like that. So I feel like there's just a calling to, to be mindful of the amount of time that you're spending doing that, especially if it also causes anxiety in you. Um, cause that mercury and play, those mercury and placements can be kind of anxious too. They can be anxious placements as well. Um, and then we have the king of pentacles here and I feel like the king of pentacles is really talking about holding that vision of that earthly space. It talks about abundance. It talks about managing your worldly resources. And so I feel like there's an empowerment here through the King of Pentacles for you, Virgo, and, and a also an earthy energy to take ownership and a leadership position, a leadership role, um, especially when, specifically when it comes to your earthly spaces. I feel like there's also a message around enjoying the fruits of your labor as well. As we see our King of Pentacles he has no shame in his game when it comes to enjoying the wealth that he earned. He worked for that. He worked for it. He earned it. And he's enjoying it. And I feel like there's a message for you to also enjoy the fruits of your labor that you've worked for. This message around slow and steadiness with the King of Pentacles. It's, you know, I feel like that those messages are kind of crossing over each other as well and supporting each other as well. Let's take a look at the Mane Hane. Open the door. Golden Healer Quartz. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing here. You have the key. You know you have the key. But for, for some reason, you're not opening the door. Is it fear? I don't know. Anxiety? Maybe. I don't know. You tell me but you're being encouraged to open the door. You have access is what I'm seeing here. Financially, again, this is the, about your money. You have access to open the door of abundance and prosperity. Ooh, there's a message on worthiness here. So the golden healer quartz being that kind of that, that yellowy kind of color to me is connected to solar plexus chakra energy. 
and I feel like there's a message around here, a message here around worthiness. Strengthening your solar plexus chakra space to feel worthy and understand that you are worthy of abundance and success and you are worthy of um, celebrating your successes and um, spending some of the abundance and the resources that you've accumulated. But do you feel worthy? There might be some solar plexus chakra work that you need to do, some self-love, self-care, self-talk, uh, positive self-talk specifically. You're talking to yourself, but are you talking to yourself in a positive way? A strong way, successful, a way that, that, bring, that breeds success. Because our king of pentacles is success. Three of cups, get out of your head. Yeah, think about it over and over again. That's not okay, right? Get out of your head. Again, that those with that Mercurian energy that's connected to Virgo. You, Virgo is the divine feminine side to Mercury. Um, all of the planets have. A divine feminine and divine masculine energy in ancient astrology and so you are the divine feminine side to mercury where gemini is your divine masculine counterpart and mercury and energy is a very mentally taxing constantly in your head constantly working in that mind space constantly trying to bring mind space down to earth because you're earth energy ultimately and so you're trying to make these mental intangibles tangible. You know, you're constantly trying to pull that down. And I feel like I feel like all of that meant like I feel like you're just talking yourself in circles and talking yourself out of success and talking yourself out of prosperity and abundance. So the eight of eight of swords here also talks about willful blindness. Nobody tied this individual up. They tied themselves up. They blindfolded themselves. They tied themselves up. They're in their head, right? They're not seeing what is there. What is what is reality? They're in their mind space. You're refusing to see that door. You're refusing to see that open door. You're refusing to see the opportunity. So you have to make the decision to take the blindfold off. And I feel like, again, that's connected to worthiness. Three of Cups to me is also talking about, again, we're talking about money, your money space, um, that collaboration, right? We already talked about union and collaboration and cooperation, and teamwork and all that kind of stuff in the beginning. And I feel like the Three of Cups is just reiterating that. Like, yes, the key to your money, money is in are in those social circles those social spaces friends people want to help you is a message that i'm also getting excuse me just sneeze people want to help you don't be afraid to ask for help People want to help you. From a love perspective, relationship patterns is highlighted here. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. Being mindful of your social circles. The type of energy that you're allowing into your space. Is it helpful? Is it mutually beneficial? Are you suffering? Okay. I feel like this is also talking about love for some of you too. If you know that your choice and partner, the number eight again is highlighted here three times. So we'll look at the angel number, the number eight in a second. But if you know, or in the past, in your past, if you've been on struggle street, finding partners that, that are supportive and loving 
um, that are putting in as much as you are, then I feel like there's a message that's highlighted. Yeah, Ace of Cups, new love, getting a, ch a need for change. So new love, the Nine of Cups there, self-love. The Nine of Cups is a self-love card. And so again, I feel like for some of you in a ro from a romantic standpoint, you are being called to navigate your romantic relationships in a different way. That new love is coming your way. That in order to have a successful new love, even here, the Nine of Cups is going, the, uh, the self-love that solar plexus chakra energy that I talked about before, getting in alignment with yourself, um, what you want, what you desire from a partnership and or just any energies in general. Um, I just got the message that your social life is going to be popping in 2022. <laughs> your social life is going to be popping in 2022. Um, and I feel like these relationship pattern changes or an encouragement to change those social, those relationships could be in different areas of your life romantically, could be from a friend's perspective and or how you are addressing or navigating your um, familial connections. So if you're, say, in a relationship, you have kids, you have a partner, some changes might be necessary in order to maintain or to keep the love and support and all of that kind of stuff alive and, and nurtured in that relationship. So this doesn't mean, oh, I'm just getting rid of everybody in my life. This means the relationship dynamic needs to be addressed. Okay. So our 888 looks at, okay, the 888 suggests lots of money. Financial abundance, it's on its way to you right now. You are aligned with the money you desire. But do you believe that? Do you believe you are worthy of that money? We talked about that earlier too. So again, an encouragement to understand your worth and embrace it. It's okay to have money. It's okay to have success, opportunities. It's okay to look at um, compensation from a whole bunch of different sides. It's really about energy exchange. So we're looking at compensation from a, obviously, money, monetary position. But we're also looking at it as energy exchange. You know, our are your friends, for example, giving what you're getting? Are your romantic relationships giving what you're giving at least? Is there a exchange of energy or are you the one being sucked dry energetically? All right, let's get to the charms. Let's see what our focus is going to be. This is Virgo 2022. Okay, family and health are being highlighted in 2022 for you. Again, mental duress, anxiety, different things like that are, are being highlighted right now. I'm getting messages around that. All right, let's get you some charms. So we can get a little bit. Feel free to, you know... Connect with the charms as you see fit and with the meanings that they might bring to you. Again, this part of the reading is meant to be more personable, an opportunity for you to kind of personalize, excuse me, <laughs> personalize the message for you. All right, let's get these charms. Sorry for the noise. focus for you that's okay let's see so we have a concentration of um, charms in the career and business center 
We have an Ace of Swords energy there. An aha moment in your career space. Um, some sort of aha moment connected to a collaboration in business or career. Um, we have this, the sport in career and business too. And the initial thought that I got when I saw that was this idea of like sporting events being some sort of a social networking type of situation is what I'm getting. So we did have the Three of Cups. So don't be surprised if you're invited to sporting events. It sounds random and specific. That's fine. So we have our treble club here in career and business. So your career and business could be connected to music in some way. Um, it could also be suggesting that maybe you're making money based off of music or your career business has something to do with music. It could also be saying, this is random, but like messages of brown business and career being communicated with you through music. And then we have um, sing as well. So we have sing and music. That's interesting. Um, but in the health section, so either singing or just music in general, lyrics being helpful for you, being healing for you, being mindful of what you listen to, make sure that they are healing for you. We have our shell face up and open with our beautiful pearl showing there. So I feel like opening up emotionally, maybe connecting with a mental health professional if you need that, especially if you're you know, actually suffering from anxiety, like clinical, clinical anxiety or uh, mental conditions. Um, making sure to connect yourself with support and help um, and opening yourself up in a way that you're not harboring or holding on to these emotional spaces, but that you're allowing yourself to truly be seen for who you are and your whole energy, your whole form um, and being okay with that. Those might have actually been off the, sorry if you couldn't see that. And so in social life, you have your cowboy hat here, okay? So I feel like this message, I know I just got super loud. I feel like this message is just encouraging you to go out there and live your best life. The cowboy hat really talks about that. It's kind of a rogue energy, right? Cowboys are kind of rogue energy. Um, just going out and having fun, enjoying the sport of it all, enjoying the process. And I feel like that enjoyment and that opening up um, is actually going to open up opportunities as well. And social currency is just as valuable as monetary compensation okay so just being mindful of that too and then we have a key your key the keys so we talked about a door earlier in our conversation too but the key to any locks is the strength of your spirituality the strength of your spiritual core we talked about the social we talked about the solar plexus chakra as well in our conversations um, because spirituality isn't just this pie in the sky, like energy that is outside of ourselves. And all this spirituality is us. We are spirituality. Everything around us is spiritual. Even the tangible world is spiritual. The tangible world is a manifestation of our spirituality, our thoughts, our heart, our openness, our vibration, that is, the, the physical world just manifests that. It's all spiritual, everything. So the key to opening any door, wherever it lives, is the strength of our spirituality, the strength of how we're communicating our needs and our wants, having a clear mind, having a, a clear heart, an open heart to receive um, allowing your mind to rest sometimes like your mind isn't your only tool for making decisions um, in your life and just keeping that in mind too that you have intuition that you have um, your heart space as well and your mind so all three of those entities work together um, to make decisions for you not just your mind space okay but it's all spiritual everything is spiritual the, big, the greatest illusion, and I feel like I heard this maybe on the, the cartoon, the Avatar or something like that. The greatest illusion is that these separate entities exist. They don't. It's all the same thing. Like when we talk about, you know, the seven chakras and we talk about um, the four elements and we talk about 
these very, we talk about the, you know, um, the different suits in tarot. Again, the greatest illusion is that these things are all separate and they're all different. Even when we talk about astrology, right? And we break, we're breaking down these houses and all these other sorts of things. The greatest illusion is that things are all separated out. They're not. It's all one thing. It's all this big, huge thing. In order for us to digest, we separate it out in part and piecemeal it. But in reality, it's all one thing. And these energies feed off of each other. They work with each other in collaboration and connect and connect collaboration and cooperation and union. And I feel like that is really the enlightened message and the enlightened energy to truly understand that is 2022's mission. 2022 is about the two life. The number 22 itself is a power number. It's a master number um, connected to, to um building that strong foundation of building the master builder um and the number two is the number of collaboration and connectivity and working with other energies in order to achieve a bigger outcome a bigger goal and then of course all those numbers reducing down to the number six which is about compassion and love and support all right virgo so we had a pretty in-depth conversation for you today. I certainly hope this was helpful for you. Um, again, I feel like the, the huge focus for you is going to be on strengthening that solar plexus chakra energy if it's not already to a point of strength and that it's glowing at its brightest from the inside out. I feel like getting in union first with yourself, cooperating first with yourself, working together with you first. So if we see the fish, if we look back at this imagery, we see all the fish are together. And we see this, I feel like, in other, in real life too. Like, okay, I watch animal documentaries and stuff like that. But often various different types of fish will bond together to make an even bigger school of fish in order to evade sharks and other predators. But the idea here is that they are their own entities first, right? So let's say you're the goldfish. And so you're making sure all of your goldfish, all parts of you as the goldfish are in alignment, that you're moving together as one, you know, you're moving through the water as one, and then you can combine forces with the other types of fish in order to evade that bigger predator right in order to uh, tackle that bigger goal so again there's a message around you getting you right first you connecting with yourself connecting with your own self-worth and value and self-respect and all of those self-related items that are connected to the solar plexus chakra energy that you are in that nine of cups space where you are confident and all of your cups are full you're confident because you know all of your cups are full. And I feel like that's going to open up new opportunities in heart, in love, in, um, you know, from that Ace of Cups perspective. Okay? All right, my beautiful soul. These are the messages I've channeled. I hope this was helpful. If something resonated, do drop a comment down below. Click like, subscribe. If we're not already connected here, and I will see you in an upcoming message. Bye-bye.